For the third day in a row, COVID case numbers in Victoria have dropped, giving health authorities some hope that it might lead to a trend in the right direction. Just over 1,400 new cases were announced today. On Saturday, we were nudging 2,000. Sadly, eight more Victorians have died from the virus, bringing the total number of fatalities during this outbreak to 101. 675 COVID patients are in hospital, 144 of them are in intensive care. A large portion of today's new cases are in Melbourne's southeast, from where Christian Silver reports. Active cases here in the city of Casey, in Melbourne's southeast, have doubled to more than 1,400 in just one week. It's been a growth area because of that low vaccination coverage. The impact is already being felt by local traders. The business is half. It's like 50 per cent. You know, there are days you don't want to be here. Like, you know, you're just sitting around just, just doing cleaning. And the only council areas where there are more cases are the hotspots of Hume and Whittlesea. You can't predict anything at the moment. It's, it's very unpredictable, very uncertain. As cases rise, the outbreak means drive through testing centres have been busy. Casey is home to more than 270,000 people. It takes in suburbs including Berwick and Nari Warren. In recent years, migrants and young families have flocked to areas like Cranbourne and Clyde North. And there's concern in the neighbouring city of Dandenong that COVID is spreading at a similar rate. The vaccine take-up here has been lagging behind the state average. Sometimes it's hesitancy, but sometimes it's around the availability and the, and the prominence of vaccination. So we're making it accessible and we're absolutely promoting it um, down to that micro level. About 2,000 people a day are rolling up their sleeves at vaccine hubs like this one in Cranbourne. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do it at first. Uh, I'm not really confident about whether the vaccine was going to do its job or not. Um, but my wife really wanted to get it and um, I felt obliged to, to you know, back her up and go and get one as well. Just to get protected, I mean, it's an important thing to do. I feel like we're helping the nurses in the hospitals particularly because we don't want it to get worse. The government says it's recruiting up to a thousand healthcare workers from overseas to help ease the burden. We've seen the horrific uh, devastation of, of the pandemic, but we've also seen the heroics and the expertise that came with it. But we've still got a peak to come in our um, overall hospitalisation. It's, it's two or three weeks away. And the government's also pledged to increase the pay of workers on the COVID wards by up to $60 a shift. Christian Silva, ABC News, Melbourne. Another 24 cases have been detected in Mildura, but health authorities are heartened by a speedy uptake in vaccinations. There are now 113 active cases in the regional city, which has been in lockdown since Friday night. 3,500 tests have been carried out since Saturday, which amounts to 10% of the local population. Mildura had the highest growth in first dose uh, vaccination coverage of anywhere in Victoria in the past week. Um, it's now tipped over 90% for the over 16 population uh, getting a first dose. Only 54% have received both vaccinations though, which is the lowest rate in regional Victoria. Our overall vaccination rate in Victoria is moving faster than expected, raising hopes that perhaps restrictions could be eased a little sooner. 86% of eligible Victorians have had one dose and just over 60% have had two. It was expected we'd hit the 70% threshold on the 26th of October and the 80% target on November the 5th. But experts say those targets could be reached days earlier. There's so many people who have had the first dose, so it's pretty sure they're going to have the second dose. And so that really does, you know, assure us that actually we're getting this well and truly under control. It's possible we're uh, three or four days ahead of that um, original forecast, but as I've said all along, it, it kind of um, depends uh, each and every day. Of the 675 Victorians currently in hospital with COVID-19, just 7% are fully vaccinated. Well, Queenslanders grabbing a snag at Bunnings will be able to get a COVID jab at the same time as the state government there attempts to boost its low vaccination rate. Just over 70% of eligible Queenslanders have received one dose of the vaccine and 53% are fully vaccinated. From this Saturday, pop-up clinics will operate from select Bunnings car parks across the state. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says she's taking vaccines to the people. 
More than two dozen sites have been identified across the state so families can get their bunning sausage and a dose of vaccine. Queensland has recorded another day of no new locally acquired cases.